Okay, good morning. Let's talk about the 13 colonies. So this week, our goal is to look at the 13 colonies through the lens of artwork. So why are we doing that? Well, number one, we want to start to understand a little bit more about what we know is happening in the 13 colonies at the time that they're being set up. So we know that it's happening over a period of time. We've spent some time looking at the big three different regions and the different reasons for each colony to be established, what their goals are, who established them, and why they're being established. So we want to stay focused on the three regions. And one of the things that we did today is we looked at three, we're going to look at three different paintings, one painting from each region. And we want to look at what it shows and what we might learn from that painting. So today, our first painting that we're going to look at is the Northern Colony Colonies. So as you remember, the 13 colonies that we looked at for the Northern region is Plymouth Bay. I'm sorry, the Bay Colony. We looked at the Plymouth Colony. We have New Hampshire. We have Connecticut. We have Rhode Island. Um, and we're th so those are the three, the four that we're going to look at starting here. Um, let's go back to the painting. Now, the goal of this is that we're going to combine the lessons that we're learning in social studies into what we're doing in reading and writing. And I know that you've been working on main idea and supporting that main idea with evidence. So the goal here is for you to learn a little bit or to show how we the things that we know are happening in the colonies um see how we it's depicted in each of these paintings so let's start here with this northern colonies um i'm gonna go larger here um look at the the painting here and first let's talk about the northern colonies we know that in the beginning some colonies were set for this were set up for religious um they were there to start the the passing and the the um go to be pure with their uh religion right and then we have massachusetts um the bay colony that wanted to get away from their religion so here is a picture of um a group of people praying um look at who you have here um look at sort of the the where they are you know i'm looking at this painting here and i'm seeing one person sort of holding um um what presumes to be a bible um they're dressed quite fancy so they're taking you know this isn't just a day that they're um in their home this is kind of a makeshift tent you can see they're outside there is no church um so they're kind of just getting together as a group um, and they're praying in a group. You can see they're all kind of um, taking it seriously. Their heads are bowed. Um, they're looking to this man here in the middle to say, you know, what is he reading? This man is looking up at, the, at God, again, indicating that this isn't um, a book that I would presume is just about the laws. I would say it's very much religious. Um, I'm noticing this this rainbow in the background and i'm thinking that you know rainbow generally means sort of after the storm the sun coming sort of happiness um i feel like the light is shining in on these people like like it's a positive thing um so what does this show and how does this relate to the northern colonies well my guess is this painting would be from um the puritans um where they're coming in and they're purifying the church, right? They came here to look at um, their religious um, freedom and being able to practice their faith in a pure way, getting back to sort of the basics. Um, I can look at the clothing. I can look at sort of um, where they are. Clearly, this is not, um, you know, you can see a few buildings in the background here, but this church is sort of just getting up and running but clearly there it's important for them to get together and and to um to pray so religion was an important part of the northern colonies that's the main idea now what i'm asking you to do is look at this painting and start to think about what 
features that we just looked at support the idea that this was that religion was important. We know it is. Somebody took the time to make this painting about that time. Think about how you can list three or four reasons from this painting that supports this main idea that religion was an important part of the northern the life in the northern colonies. So that is your task. Mrs. Carrington has given you the organizer that you need to use to fill it out for this painting to support the idea that the main idea that's being presented here. In the next video, we will go through the middle colonies and we will go then in the third video through the southern colonies. So hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, please reach out.